it has been well established that tableau is not just meant for pretty visualizations it is also helpful in intricate calculations aggregate functions and many more drill down procedures hi all this is upasna from edureka and today we are going to talk about one such feature in tableau called a parameter so we are going to start out by discussing what are parameters in tableau then we are going to move out to our demo machine which is our tableau desktop we are going to start there by connecting to our data sources then we are going to create a parameter in tableau then we are going to use the parameter in a calculation learn a little bit about parameter control and finally we are going to use our parameter in our visualization and see how it affects our data now before i go much further let me request you all to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from your favorite tech channel edureka youtube channel so without much ado let's get started so what exactly is a parameter in tableau think about it like this what if you need a component for your visualization that is not exactly in your data set parameters in tableau will allow you to provide that value which you're going to pass to tableau now this particular feature will allow you to use aggregated values that aren't readily available in your data set it will help you incorporate these values into your dashboards and reports directly now after creation end users can control the input to see the results of the effect of the parameter easy isn't it so what exactly is a parameter now any value that is passed to your program in order to customize it for a specific purpose is called a parameter now it could be anything say a string of text a range of values or any amount in rupees or dollars just to name a few parameters will help you experiment with some what if scenarios suppose you are unsure which fields to include in your view and which layout to not what layout would work best with your viewers giving them the choice you can incorporate parameters into your views your charts your graphs and your calculations to let your viewers choose how they want to look at your data now when you use parameters it is of utmost importance that you need to tie them to the view in some way one way to do this is via calculations you can use calculated fields which are incorporated in your visualizations in tableau second you can display the parameter control in the view for your users to select from the parameter now finally you can reference parameters in parameter actions which basically means you can use them in your graphs and see the effect it has on your data so now that you know a little bit about what parameters are just theoretically knowing about this concept wouldn't obviously do you much good so in the next few segments i shall carefully guide you through the process of creating and using these parameters in tableau from this point onwards we are mostly going to be on our demo machine which is tableau desktop so let's get started so when you open your tableau it kind of looks like what you're seeing on my screen right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to the sample superstore that is already provided by tableau now why i'm doing this is so that you guys do not have a difficulty in finding the data set that i'm using you can directly go connect here and follow along now this is what my data set looks like i have the sample superstore which is basically a collection of many stores spread across the united states it gives you the country city and state the customer name your shipping details your order details your categories and subcategories of your products basically all your sale information sales discounts profits profit ratio so on and so forth this is what your data looks like now let's move on to our sheet so by no means am i going to give you like a full beginning with tableau tutorial we already have a few of those kind and we have one coming up pretty soon an updated one so you can go ahead and look at that in our playlist so basically what i'm going to start out doing is i'm going to create a basic graph so let's see i want to create a sales according to the order date sort of a graph it's going to be a line graph 
So I'm going to put the order date in my columns and there is a measure called sales that I'm going to put on my rows shelf. It gives me a graph like this, but this isn't very informative as we just have four years. Now I want a more elaborate graph. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this pill, which says year. I'm going to go to the options, select more, and then go to custom. Okay, now this is the custom date dialog box. As you can see, it only has the option year selected. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go select month slash year. So it's going to show me all the months through these four years. All right. So now, as you can see, we have all the months from 2015 through 2018. We have a much more elaborate graph, something more to work with. You shall basically end up with a graph along the lines of this. It should look something like this. Now we are going to be creating a parameter in Tableau. So basically, the scenario I am trying to create is a what if scenario, like I had mentioned before. So I'm going to say, for example, what if the sales has been hiked up by 3%? Now, this detail is not given readily to me in my data set. So I obviously have to create a parameter for it. So basically, this is a parameter which I'm going to be using in a calculated field. To create a calculated field, you go to analysis and create calculated field or Alternatively, you could also go to this down arrow key near dimensions and the first option you get is a calculated field. Now, before we make the calculated field, let us create the parameter that we are going to be using in the calculated field. So the second option from that was create parameter. So I have my dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and name this like if because it's an if if scenario. If sales parameter, I'm going to move the data type to integer from the drop down menu. Current value I am going to keep as zero. Trust me, there's a reason why I'm doing this. Display format is automatic. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the range. Minimum, I'm going to be keeping zero. Maximum, the default is 100. And step size, I am going to keep as two. So with that, I have created my parameter. It's going to be an integer type parameter ranging from 0 to 100. Now, as you can see in the bottom here in the parameters set, you can see an if sales parameter, the one that we have just created. Remember that I had told you that you have to use your parameter and tie it to your view in some way. And the first way that I had told you was to use your parameter in your calculation. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Now in this scenario, we want to use our parameter and a few Tableau functions to create a calculated field to add to our graph. And then we are going to see its effect on our data. So we're going to go ahead and create a calculated field. Now I'm going to name it the same as my parameter. Except for I'm going to name it calculation. And here I am going to be throwing in a formula which if you want to know more about, you can go ahead and check a tutorial that we have on functions in Tableau so you understand what these functions do basically. So I'm putting in this formula here and at the bottom it says calculation is valid. Now I cannot stress enough, so I'm gonna say it one more time in this video. I've mentioned it many times in many videos and lives before that this is something which shows that Tableau is a really, really smart software. If suppose I remove a parenthesis from here in the bottom, it is going to show the calculation contains errors. And if you hit the arrow button here, it's going to tell you what error it is. This way it prevents you from making mistakes right from the get go. You do not have to go much further in your process. This is going to be a small process for demo purposes, but usually Tableau is used in an industry level. And there, once you have gone much further in your procedure, coming back and correcting mistakes will be troublesome. So I'm going to hit OK. And in your measure section, you can see your if sales calculation is here. Now, what I want you to do is notice 
how your calculation the parameter that we created is going to interact with your sales measure in the segments that follow next what we're going to do is parameter control now coming back to the tableau main menu as i had just mentioned you can see your calculation field in the measures pane and your parameter in the parameters pane this is your data window so i'm gonna click on this and click on the option show parameter control on the right you see this particular option which is your if sales parameter this is your parameter control currently it is there in this slider form giving you your range 0 to 100 which we had selected you can always go ahead and change it from slider form to your type and form i prefer the slider form over the type and form it's easier to operate for me you can go ahead and make your choice this is the top right of your view and this is where by default your parameter control filter is always displayed now i'm not going to show you how it is used right now in the next segment you will see what its use is now finally we are going to be using tableau parameters in our visualization this is the part most of you might already be waiting for okay so starting out what i want to do is i want to switch this for measure values and i am only going to be keeping my if sales and the regular sales which we had made the graph with before okay now i have my calculated field if sales right here and so i have my sales also right here okay now because on your right you can see your parameter control is at zero you might be able to see just one graph but as we start moving the slider up suppose i keep mine at 30 you instantly get two of your graphs one of them is your if calculation your if sales calculation which is your calculation grown by three percent your sales grown by three percent right and the other one is your regular sales do you see the difference once you click on your parameter control and set it to any number which is visible like i would suggest go above 10 i have set it as 30 you can see your dual axis graph you can go ahead and change the color if you want to but i'd like to keep them in blue itself because i think it's pretty visible but you can always go ahead and change the colors if you like now these lines represent the running values of sales from your data set and the calculated sales simultaneously and you've successfully incorporated your parameter in your visualization along with your control that you have on your right and that is how you create and use parameters in tableau now parameters are dynamic and useful elements for you to add interactivity and flexibility to your dashboards and reports it is a very versatile tool and can be used in way more than what i showed you in this demo it can be used in various calculations sets equally well now this is one of the many smart features that are there in tableau which is emerging as one of the hottest trends in business intelligence in 2019 and also if i might add it is one of the easiest data visualization tools to learn one of the most interactive and smart softwares and if you look at google trends it seems like there can be no better time than right now to get certified in tableau to start learning tableau with that i would like to close the session thank you and have a great day ahead i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning